The Toronto Van Attack trial hit a crucial checkpoint today, with the defence wrapping up their case and the Crown calling their first expert witness to the virtual stand. Oh, hi. Good to see you there. I'm using these fantastic new glass phones from just-in-time flowers industry. This is video of Alec Manassian on camera as part of a school project, selling a pair of sunglass headphones. Though was Alec Manassian trying to sell his autism spectrum disorder, so he'll be found not criminally responsible. Dr. Percy Wright, a forensic psychologist from KMH, was called as the Crown's first expert witness this afternoon. Dr. Wright put Manassian through a series of tests, one focused on whether Manassian is exaggerating or underreporting his disability in pursuit of an NCR verdict. The confessed killer's results show he's neither exaggerating nor underselling his difficulties. A good sign, according to the doctor. Dr. Wright told the court that unlike others with autism, Manassian did well thinking outside of the box when answering test questions. Crown prosecutor Cynthia Valerzo asked, how is that linked to moral reasoning? Dr. Wright replied, he certainly has the ability to think flexibly and not be very literal. He's able to grasp these concepts at a high level. Manassian's moral decision-making ability was a central focus for the last several days as the defense's key expert witness, Dr. Alexander Westfall, testified. This morning, Dr. Westfall wrapped up seven days on the virtual stand, five of which included being grilled by the Crown's lead prosecutor, Joseph Callahan. Callahan had suggested during his cross-examination to the courts that the American psychiatrist was crafting his own narrative about Manassian by picking and choosing facts and quotes. Defense attorney Boris Batensky concluded his re-examination this morning by asking his key witness, are there any professional benefits to you testifying at this trial? Dr. Westfall replied, no, my training is in autism. Going on to say, you know what people's reactions have been. It's a really difficult area, an area we need to understand. It's not an area that people take kindly to talking about. The trial has been polarizing and could be precedent setting. Manassian's defense argued that his autism spectrum disorder has rendered him unable to understand that the attack, which left 10 dead and 16 others injured, was morally wrong. It's an argument which has never led to a not criminally responsible verdict in Canadian history. And the defense begin their cross-examination of Dr. Percy Wright tomorrow.